of the Rams defense there. Forces a turnover on downs inside the five-yard line. As Sean McVay would, have, would love to have the bubble over his group with Mina Kimes, at least has some positivity here because his defense forced a Trey Lance incompletion on a fade on fourth down. Oh, I mean, that's a good thing, but I bet he wants to see this offense get a drive going. Let's see what they can do here from the two. Stetson Bennett still the quarterback, number 30. Boston, again, Andrew, it is Boston Scott wearing number 30. And he gets maybe back to the line of scrimmage. And we were. The 2024 season opens with a couple of field goals here. On a beautiful day at SoFi, it is 3-3 Rams. Losing weight. Uh, that's nope. not going to be my deal, I don't think. I'm Stetson Bennett from his end zone after the change of sides of the field throws a completion to the far sideline, and that is a gain of three. No, you didn't ask if you'd pay me to do it. I would definitely. Oh, you'd, okay. You'd, you'd what, that caveat what, in there, I'm in. What would Ishan wants to pay I'm for in. it? Exactly. What's it going to take? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Stetson Bennett on third down now with Boston. Yard deep in the end zone. Throws near sideline and throws yes. complete for a Rams first down. It's Xavier Schmidt getting it on the 19. A little late hit, I think, on the sideline here. The team's got a little chippy the other day in the uh, scrimmage. You saw some chippiness, but nothing escalated too bad. No fines. After the play. Personal foul, late hit. Defense in the play, first down. Eric Scott with the late hit. The forearm to the back after the gain of nine and another catch for the out of Florida AM. Rams will take it and put it on the 32. That's a nice catch by Smith and a really nice ball from Stetson Bennett, who, you know, coming back from the rhythm once again. The ball's coming out quickly. He looks accurate. Three catches on three targets for Xavier Smith. And a play fake here. Smith now short. And he's got Tyler Johnson, the veteran wide out. The former Buccaneer in his second season with the Rams. Yeah, talking to some of the uh, veterans up front. They were excited to see him have a chance tonight to, today to show something. He's uh, been a guy that's made some plays already. And uh, here he is in the conversion form. Played only one game last year, though. It was the weak touchdown in that game. It is a gain of 11. And the Rams have it now on the 43-yard line. Smith goes in motion. Boston Scott. Scott to the 50-yard line. It's a great run by Scott. Nice vision, patience, waiting for he presses the hole. Even the regular season, because, you know, I talked about the similarities between Rivers and the backs on the roster. Scott, he's undersized, obviously. But I think he has some of those qualities, too experience as well played with the Eagles obviously known there as the giant killer obviously had some great moments there again Scott in the Cowboys territory across the 40 for another Rams first down that one's good for 14 how about that run blocking on hey, the interior Andrew? let's go this that. is a strong sucker Rob, Rob Havenstein was telling me that he's this guy can squat 700 pounds 700 pounds. Look at that. He's loving it on the joints hurt right there. Just hearing that. It's cool. Ronnie Rivers there celebrating his side. I say it's just cool to see the identity of this team from last season offensively yep. carry over in the preseason. Mac Evans checks in and he showed you those two running backs side by side as they were running obviously behind Limmer and behind Logan Bruss playing right guard. I may have on Austin Scott, Ronnie Rivers a couple of times. Rivers wore 30 last year in the preseason. I don't get to the podium here. I've been doing the... I got a did not qualify for mixing up Boston Scott and Ronnie Rivers, and I thank everyone who texted. I'll say this, the fact that Rivers is only in. Absolutely. Second and eight. Bennett on the rollout. That's Another good throw on the move right there. To Xavier Smith it today. Is outbreak. You can run play actions off of it, Mina. Did you know that was possible? You know, what a concept. Watch Same. Rams football. Yes. What a concept. Well, you talked about it, Mina, this, this identity. Yeah. Last one, be physical, and then build everything kind of with that. Uh, and now you see it carrying over this preseason. It's really good to see these young linemen playing that way as well. And good to see Xavier Smith. A lot of people thought he, he's a return man only, not the biggest guy, but here in the preseason, um, getting work done, outbreaking routes, getting work done underneath the room. But, you know, maybe there is a home for him somewhere. And Zach Evans there. gets a couple of yards, and the Rams are going to go for it quickly on fourth down. Oh, and they're going to run. Got down early right there. That turf monster almost got him. 
Zach Evans, who carried the ball 23 times in the preseason last, staying on his feet. The turf monster got him in the backfield, but he was able to stay up and to get that first. You know, the Rams the Sean McVay area don't hear game management specialist from the Tennessee Titans, John Stryker. I'm not saying that influence is showing here, but that's something to monitor during the season. Absolutely. That's crazy. Good man. Austin Scott there, who in his free time is also a professional gamer in the Rocket League. Has that carry. You see six out there. Drake Stoops, the son of the legendary Oklahoma coach who caught ten touchdowns for the Sooners. Actually got drafted by Dad a couple of months. Oh, in the UFL? Or? Exactly. By the Renegades. He's a Ram, though, not a Renegade. Renegades are waiting. Receiver in college. Bennett. A little too much gas on that one. Wanted winning to He played at Texas. Westneed had a little extra insight as his stepson, his stepson Tate, is oh, yeah. a long snapper. Whittington obviously came back with uh, great reviews by everyone at UT. And the Rams are happy with what they have so far from him. Couldn't get that one. But this guy's is the 13th play of this drive. Two for 43 early for Whittington. Rams got to get to the 15. Johnson can't the ball. on. Mm, that was close. He had him right there. It was a really good ball. You can kind of see a couple guys are stumbling there. He starts to lose kind of his footing there as he's reaching as well, slipping a little bit. I will say, watching this drive, Seth has been pretty well protected yeah. overall. Yeah. They've protected him well. With we'll all the injuries game, it, they showed out pretty well. Time of the field goal. 39 yards and a second one here for Josh Carty, the rookie out of Stamford. The first one to get the Rams on the board first. This one looks nice and smooth and easy and effortless. His career long is 61. He's got a big left. So far, the next generation of banking for the next generation of Rams fans down on the sideline. Good Sunday afternoon to you, Sean McVay. Hey, good afternoon to you too, and Come out. You know, obviously we want to try to finish those drives, but I think Stetson's done a really good job. We've been able to run the ball efficiently, and then I like some of the sudden change defenses. So, Sean, are we going to see any action on these kickoffs today, or what are we thinking, bud? It's doubtful. It's doubtful. <laughs> it's your favorite part of the it. game, right? Yeah, you love it, buddy. <laughs> I just love it. You know, they obviously had us return the other one, and uh, we are kicking this deep, and uh, ball's on the 30, and here we come. So, would you like to see? Okay. You know, here, here's why. Because they're so regulated. I mean, we're just getting man schemes. You'd like to see if guys can be able to defeat individual blocks if you wanted to, but what that play is going to look like in week one with the way teams will approach it. So. On a positive note, uh, how about Jordan Whittington with that catch? Looking like Puka Nakua out there. Big catches, you know, right away on the end cut and then on the uh, the slant from the slot. So he's a, he is a stud. He's mature beyond his years. We really like him. We did. Good yep. so first down. Uh, Malik yeah. Davis oh, so able to read. push forward to get that first down. It was oh, Keir Thomas, big part. Yeah, Keir. Yeah. Keir did a nice job, though. That's you know, Those are those tough plays when you've got to account for the quarterback as well. You're usually a gap. Flying around the field a little bit. Uh, <laughs> it's fun to see that guy, even Thursday, watching him in the Cowboys scrimmage, making some plays down there in the red zone. Uh, this guy plays with tenacity. Six, too. Maybe, right, maybe. maybe. Oh, Tyler. Let's go. Tyler Davis beating the back block of the center quickly in the backfield. Big fella. Let's go. Standing. You know, I... I was, uh, that was awesome for him. TD, Yip Smith does such a good job with that group as a whole, and it's good to see TD make a couple plays. All right. What are you seeing right here, guys? Second and 12. Need to make the Rams 49 to get a new set of downs. Shotgun. Oh, another one. contain against Lance. It's a good play yeah. by him. Yep. You lose contain, he escapes with his eyes. Then he opened B gap for him to be able to go up and out on. That's tough. David yeah, Durden with that. that catch on the sideline. Yeah, with his long scramble and then this play here, you, when you lose that integrity, it makes it really tough on the defense. There's no doubt. And that's what he did earlier in the drive a couple you know, series ago. And that's the thing that these quarterbacks can provide, that extra added element when, uh, when you lose the rush integrity like that. Rams territory now 45 as Trey Lance changed the play up the line. Run left to give to Malik Davis. 03 met him in the hole. He did a good job of kind of just skinny and through with the running back at an extra couple yards. But it's the difference between second and six. So, but we're in position right there. Got to be able to make those plays. But he's done a really good job all camp. I've been pleased with those three. Uh, Sean, I know early reviews from those two. Yeah, they've been awesome. You know, I they, they are mature guys. They play with the tenacity of grit. They got the mental and physical toughness. We're looking for this. 
Mm. Lost the flat control right there. You guys are bad luck. I come on here with you. <laughs> hey, you just said we had a big six last year. Don't... Hey, Sean, we see our guy Deswan Johnson down there hustling. I've been impressed watching him in practice. The effort he has uh, earlier down here in the red zone, he falls down on the screen in the backfield, gets up and chase effort play. Uh, that dude seems to play with a lot of passion and energy. You said it, Andrew. That was a huge play because they end up getting no points out of that. And that really it was Jason Taylor forcing it back inside. Des reads out of the stack and makes a play. Otherwise, that's a walk-in touchdown on the screen. That was huge. I mean, touchdown saving play. He is he really work edges on guys, and, and I've been seeing the same exact things that you just articulated. Ball behind Cropper there. He is able to make the catch. And the Cowboys got a drive going here. Taking up in the red area. Quick game, they're cutting up front. Nice job right there. Cam Kitchens, involved a good practice against these guys the other day. You can see he's getting more and more comfortable. Good range coming out of the deep part of the field. This is an excellent job by him being able to trigger right there by a quarter safety. And Sean, every time we look up, whether it's here or good at time. camp, he is making a play. He is, you know, and he's getting more and more comfortable. He was, you know, playing, asking him to do some different things, but he's a smart, conscientious guy. Uh, I love working with him, and he's getting better and better. Tyler Davis got again. home again. He's big. When he gets on the grass. He's like, forget his times, forget all that. When he's playing football and, and just seeing what he sees and reacting, his speed seemed totally different on the football field. He couldn't be more right. Really play tackle football. The physicality that shows up with a lot of these young guys that we like so much. And so that's, uh, I think that's on display. You just said it. Exactly. Drive here. See if they got off the field. Third and ten. Win right here. Yeah, there it is. Lance pressure. No Good. flag. Almost in position. Yep. No goal. That's a heck of a job by them tightening up. You guys aren't as bad luck after all. <laughs> hey. Yeah. There it is. We're, we're, we're trying to stay positive here, hey. sir. Pressuring him, making him feel that, and he has to get the ball out of his hand. That is awesome. That's a good stop right there. Big three downs after they were kind of driving the ball down the field. That's, that's Here's the Cowboys uh, line up for a field goal on Joshua Cardi, your rookie kicker, two for two early. Been really pleased. You know, I think to get him some of those opportunities, we obviously want to touch our operation, and he's hitting the ball well in terms of just kicking out of the back of the end zone. So it's been uh, it's been a good start for Josh. He's just nice and steady. I really like his demeanor than that, can you? No, you cannot. I think you missed that. Oh, oh man, that he got it. Hey, you got a better angle than me, jerk. <laughs> <laughs> well, likewise. Right. Talk to you later. See Kick is up. Kick is good. We are tied at six years. Thank you, Sean McVay, in the second. All right, NFL Red Zone. 451 remaining on a hot day here in Inglewood. 6-6. We're in the second quarter here. And Super Bowl champion Andrew Whitworth, Mina Kimes, and I'm Andrew Siciliano. A couple of field goals from each team. I want to thank Sean McVay for doing coach. We did have the Jaguars run one back yeah. for 73 yeah. yards Parker last Washington. night. There is hope. Parker Washington broke a couple of tackles. Nothing Ooh. schemed up. We got a crease. We got a crease. Oh. We got a crease. Oh, Got and they bring it out across the 30-yard line. Xavier Smith, who has looked good offensively, gets a 26-yard rise in the official 5G network of the Rams. He was the 19th overall pick in the Rams' first first-round pick since Jerry Goff. His name is also 1 and 2 on that front 7. Braden Fisk being the other pick. Jared Burst uh, win, especially against the Cowboys. You could, you could feel that hot shit. We have, we're not going to see it here, obviously, today. Yeah, he's legit. I think it was impressive uh, to see him playing even the Charger scrimmage and the Cowboys, the impact he has. <laughs> Here's Jordan winning 10 again. I mean, he's busy. This. You see here the value of having a player like Whittington who has a similar him on similar concepts there coming across yep. behind the formation. That physicality, that running back like ability in space, and then the toughness. There's Jared Burst there. I, I thought the impact to see the effect he's had in practice. I heard Dak Prescott doing his interviews talking about he felt his presence during the scrimmage. I think that's a huge compliment to a young rusher for a vet. Gain of six for Whittington on that first one. Zach Evans here with the carry. Marquise Bell with the tackle, and Evans will move him first down. You're not going to see, I know Rams fans want to see Jared Verse out there in the preseason. You want to see Braden Fisk out there in the pre Puka Nakua in game one. He caught that touchdown and kind of planted his flag. Yes, I'm legit. Don't know, especially considering that when Sean McVay knows his team is already getting banged up, probably going to play it safe here you would have to think yeah and they're, they're having a lot of scrimmages uh you know there's they're on the schedule i think they have another one lined up so far with the chargers and the texans um so they're going to get plenty of, of good on good competition it is people talk about the starters playing in the preseason or not 
when we were doing scrimmage, scrimmages my last couple years in the league, those were more reps than I ever took in preseason. 50, 50 snaps in a scrimmage, which was way more than you ever played in a preseason game. Three starters already banged up on the O-line. You do have right now Warren McClendon out guys who will be relied on as a key backup as Bennett is lucky that did not get picked off, throwing into traffic with five blue jerseys in the He's had a lot of success rolling out of the pocket so far today. This one's just uh, one laying underneath. Uh, that was a dangerous ball. To put there. Sam Wigless also got knocked down. The rookie wide receiver from Ohio U. McVeigh there didn't get it. Wigless formerly at Ohio State. Went to Ohio U. Put up good numbers in here trying to make the Rams. Bet it on third down. Has another Rams first down tackle there by one Ye Thomas. Well protected again on third down. It's been a bit of a trend with that ball over the second level defender. Gain of 14 for Stetson Bennett. Yeah, let's give the O-line a little love. I mean, this has been good protection. Well. Start a preseason kind of left tackle, playing well. Uh, you know, I continue to see these guys kind of taking those steps. And I got to be honest, I know I'm biased. I love seeing them run the football physically. They've had some success. They're four for 63 for Whittington, the rookie wide receiver in his first NFL game. Two-minute warning. Two minutes remaining here. Moving down the field a couple of times, and they had on defense at least turnover on downs. As we bring it back to SoFi and tell you, it is time for our player credit union, a credit union you can count on. It's Puka Nakua. After rewriting the rookie record book last year, a wide receiver. I was told today that if it were a playoff game, as Puka obviously be able to play week one, he should be good as Zach. Evan gets around the corner and lowers his shoulder here. Eric Scott, who got called for a personal two. Yeah, it was yeah. crazy watching Nakua in the preseason last year, going back now, pardon me, and watching him not then, knowing what he would become. But you saw it back friendly yep. on the receiving end from Stetson Bennett in preseason week one. He just gets open. He's so good against zone coverage. And off to Zach Evans, the second year back, has some room, and he falls forward to the 35. It's a game of four. Marquise Bell, who had an intercept. Third down and four. Rams do have all three timeouts. They're going to let the clock run here in a 6-6 game. Yeah, you, again, you see the Rams getting gotten on the ground. It's good for the run game. You're going to have quality carries. Uh, let's see if they can get another conversion here. As you see Matthew Stafford on the sideline joined us earlier. Appreciate that. Rams 31. Evans is the back, and he will get the carry and get met in the hole with nowhere to go. Rams will call a timeout. 108 remaining. The Cowboys call a timeout. I beg your pardon. Yeah, you were talking about Puka Nakua. I mean, is uh, early just seeing him play, his ability to fall forward. In any catch, he almost always got another yard, got another two yards. So to see his effect was no surprise because it always felt like no matter what the play was, his back to guys, front fa facing guys, he always ended up with more yards than when he touched the football, even in looks. Play for the Rams oh, man. because, no you know, question. more than any other offer, most offenses in the NFL, the wide receivers block. They get dirty, especially with this duo run game that they've been running. Yep. All right, Rams going to go for it. They're two for two on fourth down today. Fourth and three. Need the 31. We got Whittington bottom of the double A action. Double A gap. They drop. Whittington at the 30. Whittington yes. fights what forward and about? gets that first down. Whittington in his NFL debut. I Mina just said it. That Puka Nakua right there. Make a tough catch and continue to find a way to fight for those extra yards. Nicholas Scott and getting to the 30. And now the Rams with the clock moving. Bennett. Nice catch on the 30. That's Wigless. Sam Wigless. Catch to put him in the red zone. And now a timeout with the clock at 39 after a gain of 11. I mean, it, you got to understand. Those guys' reps are limited for him to step in this way. It's impressive to see him the way he's operated this offense. Rams call a timeout. Being a big.